mag-clear. Popolin Koopa is also great for control. So, expect a lot of invades, especially in the early game for Brandy Sports. Yeah. And uh, this is going to be game number one of this best of three series, Onyx versus Bren. First time nila makita sa 10 ban setup. So, what will happen right now? 2-1 ba uli? For Bren Esports or Sige Onyx PH, ito. may iba silang plano. Maaga pa lang, medyo pumupuesto na ng maganda si Flap TZ dito sa gilid with Jay on the other side, waiting for the box already. Mm -hmm. This is way, this is normal. I think this is a bit too normal. I was expecting a lot of early game aggression, pero Bren Esports, they're going with the flow here. Alam mo yung nakikita ko dito sa Bren Esports kung bakit sila sobrang uh, successful is, eto ha, Si Ribo hindi nagsasawa <laughs> sa mga heroes na pinipili niya. Oh, yung true. hero si Ribo dito naka nakaipit lang ata sa tatlo hanggang lima. Tapos yun lang literal yung ginagamit. Hindi siya nananawa. That's true. And yun yung mga ano eh, yun yung mga utak na okay. champions o mga champions. Pero bago natin sabihin yan, what makes Brent Esports good as well is Carl C is the first player to exceed 100 kills and assists. In MPL PH season six. So si si ano si si full clip kills. Mm. Pero si Carl Easy kills and assists. Mm -hmm. Yun ba yon? Yung may difference nila. Oh. So I know si full clip kaka 100 lang din nung last week. Oh. Si Drake's si Drake, si Drake, si Drake, Drake, 105, 105, 105. Yes. For Drake. So si Carl Easy ibang level eh, no? Ibang level din yung kill participation niya. Mm. Kung baga. You sinabi doon ng fun fact natin, it's not about really the kills and the... Well, it is about the kills and the assists. Pero, if you take that in consideration na mas deeper meaning, kill participation. Di ba? So, eto ah. Brian Esports dito, they actually go for the invade. Alam mo yun, it, it helps eh. It helps Raptor Machete stacks yan. Alam, yep. alam natin Ayan siya. Ayan na. Ito na yun. Nag-level 4 na sila at nagsimulan ang Bren. Na gumagasa. Ayan. Gumagasa. I got you. Okay. I got okay. it. Okay. Gumagasa na ang Nakuha Bren mo. Matolsky. Nakuha mo na. Pero ito ah. The brush is there. Par nasa magkabilang side sila. And ayaw nila magbigay masyado. Si Kartsy dito. Gagamit siya ng Thorn Rose to get away. And that is going to be it. Kartsy. In the other hand is... Alam mo yun. This is the normal pacing na ginagawa ng Bren Esports. Oh, totally. Onyx PH on the other hand. Mahilig sila sa mga ganitong slow pace na game din eh. Yep. They're starting to look actually oh. reactive. Ayan, no, sa laban na to. Mm -hmm. Pero si Jay dito, Naku. nakikita mo naman kung ano ginagawa ni Flap. Ni Flap. It's more on the idea na kapag ka natanggal niya, na-disarm niya, that's a proper term. Pag na-disarm niya dito si Jay, at hindi magamit ni Jay yung skills niya, hindi siya maka-physical attack, yep. mapapatak mo si Jay, automatic. And grabbing counter yun, mm -hmm. sa So, hindi niya kaya makipag-1v1 basta-basta. Oh, look at this. Card Z on the back lines. Basic dito. Napagamit ng shadow kill. Let's see kung ano pa mangyayari dito. Rebo on to the side as well. He wants to help. Pero Jay, kinagat siya dito nung aso. And that will be the end of the fight. And Onyx PH actually getting one kill out of that. Few will be the first blood of the game. Yep. And di ganun kalaki ang difference natin ngayon. Bren Esports though will have map control. Kasi nasa baba pa rin si Dilar, hindi pa rin makasal sa laban. Mm. Jay fighting in the middle of the third, he'll figure Oy! out! And he actually flickers in dun sa may trap. Not that it matters, pero still, this is going to be very important. Nakuha ni Venus dito yung turtle buff. And look at this. Tutumba si, tutumba si Carl Z. But still, are there more kills onto the side of Onyx PH? That is the question. Flapsy dito. Kumakalmot, kalmot. Dilar dito. Paikot-ikot. And Jay will get the kill on Flap. Ribo dito. He wants more. He wants to make this even. Pero oh, Ribo dito will go down as well. Dilar tutumba din. And look at this fight. Fio will be the next Naku target. Po. Onyx PH, what is happening? Bren Esports, they lost control over that fight. That was really quick for, for Onyx. Talaga, hindi nila tinigilan. Once they had a footing, once they knew na may, luma, na may counting lamang sila, they're diretso na sa laban na yun. And sobrang cool na talagang hindi pin <laughs> flicker in si Ribo kahit sobrang baba na din niya. Para lang mabawi yung kill. That was impressive. The problem is, nagbigay sila ng stacks kay Jay. That was a double kill para sa Hilda. And that is Gillette Instant Replay Hashtag Shave the, the day. day. Ang ganda ng ginawa dito ng Onyx PH. They had understanding 
na nasa kanila pa rin si Hilda and once flap is down automatic si Jay magpop ano eh automatic si Jay magpop off siya meron siyang ways to actually turn around the fight so ibig sabihin sila basic dito ganito na yung gagawin nila they actually push the middle lane which is actually the hardest lane to push kasi laging nga yung binibigyan ng alam mo yun attention ng attention kasi kapag ka nakuha nila yan there are multiple entrances dun sa sarili-sarili lang jungle It's true. That's all they want, actually. Now, sila naman ang nabutasan dito sa gitna. And that is very good for Onyx PH. Now, Flap TZ trying to hunt down Iaklu. Disarmed. Pero yung skills niya ang tumatama, hindi yung normal attacks. Kaya makakataka siya ng maayos. While the bottom lane gets taken care of naman, Onyx PH, they are in the lead in economy. Okay, so napakaganda ng palitan nila ng skills doon. Once na nakita ni Flap na gumamit ng flowing blood dito si Iyaknu at alam niya yung flowing blood na yun ay nawala na, tatalunan niya bigla dito si Alice. Pero ang ginawa ni Iyaknu agad, gumamit na kayo ng ultimate para kahit pa paano pumantay yung piece mong laban doon. Pero sabi ni Flap dito, sige, tutulong na ako. Nakakuha ni Basic yung turtle buff dito. But look at this. He What? goes in. He goes out. Karatsi dito in a very bad spot. Iyakno dito with that ultimate. Tignan natin kung matitake down yung Karatsi dito. And that is going to be really bad for the side of Bren Esports. They are losing control of this game. Bren, Flap, nandito na sa taas. He knows that he needs to make space for his team. Nagmumuha ng gigil ang Onyx PH. Gigil na matanggal yung first game curse na tinatawag sa team nila simula nung huling linggo. Mm -hmm. And they are looking like they're on the way. Pero hindi pa rin tapos ha? kasi Brenny Sports, they have heroes na kayang-kayang mag-scale ng malakas. Itong Lancelot at itong Masha, kailangan pa rin bantayan ng Onyx yan kasi yung gold deed niya nasa dalawang libo lamang. Mm -hmm. Dilar as well is uh, really uh, ballin'. Ballin'? With ballin' with his Balmond. Yep. At dito sa may baba, uh, ito yung nakikita mo kay Iyakno eh, na sobrang confident niya ngayon. Just because he has two kills. Ano nga ba, bakit nga ba nag-make sense yan? Eh, dalawang kill lang naman yan. That only means that he has free reign over his lanes. So, nandito si Dilar, pumasok siya sa lahat and he forces three people back for the side of Bren Esports. Now, yep. Bren, they can still come back from this. I think so. And the problem is, Onyx, sobrang laki na ng lamang ni Basic over everyone else. Level 11 right now. And he is just taking targets one by one. Pag nag-level 12 yan, mas masakit na yung Shadow Kill. Hmm. Pero lalaban na sila before mangyari yun. Cards dito. Nahuli siya nung stun. And Basic and Ooh, the others basic. are just gonna go back. Pwesta nila yung sakin nila dito para sa turtle. 19 seconds till that turtle. And they will get a little wanderer. And... Clearly, clearly, map control is on the side of Onyx Cage. Oh, and then basic, he's not playing Shadow Kill right now. Ginagawa, oh, ginagawa lang niya is just only spamming those shurikens. And while I was saying that, Flap TZ taken down, na slam dunk nani Dilar. And the question is, Rockheart, do gods really bleed? That is the question right now, cause Bren Esports they are actually trying to get back into this game. Tanggal ng Karate turtle. Dito, they take out Basic, pero can he make it out? He doesn't have the cooldowns. Hindi nagproc yung refresh ng kanyang dash. Yep, ganti ganti lang kung baga ang nangyari dito para sa Bren Esports. And each and every time na kuha ng Onik yung turtle, na papatay agad ng Bren yung mga targets na merong turtle. First Venus. Now basic as well. Contra Hindi man lang nila nagagamit. Kontrapelo, kontrapelo lang sila dito. No? Parang si Team A malakas kay Team B. Pero si Team B, medyo nagkakaroon ng problema kapag kakalaban niya si Team A naman. <laughs> diba? Mga ganun. That's true. So, Kapansin mo nga yun. Eh. There, is, there is this thing about MPL Season 6 na parang there is no clear winner. Kasi last, during the last seasons, parang laging merong clear na malakas. Eh. Ngayon, lahat sila. Ano mo yun? Nagkukuhaan ng wins from each other. Yep. I think mangyayari pa rin yun. Hanggang mamaya. So expect nyo na paulit-ulit na may mga kakaibang pangyayari dito. And this is MPL, man. That's the beauty of MPL as well. Mm -hmm. Na wala talagang ano, walang unbeatable. Walang unbeatable. Walang nag, lalo ngayon, And, nagmumukhang... Hindi pa tapos, ah. Oh. Pero, looks like Onyx PH, gustong-gusto nilang tapusin. Well, they do know that they cannot let uh, Flap have a good time then. Kasi Flap, yung hero na gamit niya dito, you can just 1v1 everyone dito sa side ng Onyx PH a bit later. Pero, for Bren naman dito, they have good wave clear. So, hindi rin makapag-push dito yung Onyx basta-basta. They have the lead, pero kasi yung wave clear talaga eh, Meteor Shower, 
you have the thorned rose. Ang daming ways eh. Yep, there are actually a lot of ways yeah, for the way clear. And uh, even the Masha can really split push really hard. Mm -hmm. Mamaya, ex expect nyo sobrang bilis ang attack speed nitong Masha ni Flap. And yun yung inaabangan ko. That's why I'm not calling this game yet in favor ako, of Onyx. Ako naniniwala din ako, Brian Esports, they have been in this position nung kalaban nila si Signal Ultra. And they showed us na kahit maliit, kahit maliit na mistake lang from the other team, they can make it worthwhile. Na, alam mo yon from there, magbibuild up sila ng onting confidence and get the, get the lead back. Mm -hmm. Kumbaga, ganun yung pinaka-idea dito for the side of Brian Esports. But hey, come back, come back. for Onyx, <laughs> Paano nga ba nila pangahawakan yung lamang nila? That is the question. Kasi it's all about them making mistakes at this point. Eh. Yep. A few weeks ago, we saw a game na 10,000 gold lead na baliktad lang Oo, ng isang pagsak. So, I'm not sure if that's gonna happen here as well. Pero if there's a team that can definitely do that, Brian Esports na siguro ang isa sa mga tingin mo naman kayang-kayang gumawa. Mm -hmm. Queen's Wings for Dilar. That is really just a... That is really just a... Uh, sabihin na lang natin way to control kung ano man yung ginagawang damage output dito nila Ribo, nila Few. Because as we all know, itong mga heroes na to hindi talaga magpapatigil to sa pag, uh, pambubulin or going to the front lines. And as we all know, si Chang O din, as long as meron nagtatank up ng damage na yan, nagsasok up ng damage na yan from the meteor shower, kaya mo isalba yung minions mo eh. For sure. Kayang-kaya. I think there is no doubt about that. Considering the uh, the amount of wave tier they have is just yung cooldown din ng skills eh mm -hmm. so mababa din eh so looking at the gold right now mababasin mo hindi gano ang nagkakalayo eh onic ph clearly they do have a certain a certain bit of map control against Bren esports an advantage if you will yep 7 11 ang score natin dito pero yung gold lead hindi, hindi mo nalalayo mapapansin. hindi napapansin yep. 2K at 12 minutes, hindi siya ganun kalaki. Alam din ni, ano eh, alam din ni Brian Esports kung paano gagalaw sa mga ganitong panahon. So oh. this is really tricky for the side of Onyx PH. Right now, they're in the lead. Pero kasi, one mistake can just put Brian Esports back into the lead. Yep. Onyx PH, on the other hand, they're playing this, right? Inahayaan nila si Iyak nung mag-stack kahit pa paano. And nakapwesa sila dito sa, my, sa Lord area. Yep. They need to be super consistent dito. Uh, especially right now where they're having a hard time in actually closing out games. Na, pansin mo, ang tagal nang walang kills ng Onyx. And I Ooh. think they might experience the first one now. Looks like... I, ang sinasabi ko dito is hindi na sila basta-basta mga kill. Mm -hmm. And I think hirap pa to lalo habang tumatagal So nakikita mo kung paano sila gumagalaw in terms of uh, peeling itong mga heroes dito sa side ng uh, Onyx PH. Si Jay, doon kung wala siyang flicker, that could have been a kill. And that could have been the opening na hinahanap ng Brian Esports. So, you have, you still have to respect yung lineup ng Brian Esports dito, all in all. I think, I Jeffrey. Mm. Pero kasi yung ano yung mobility, no? Yung mobility din ng yung iba mobility din yung nabibigay din ng... ng eh. Ibang mobility na bibigay ng Rafaela. Problema, sa late game, hindi din siya ganun kasoli. <laughs> so, hindi lang dito kumuha na ng blade armor. Pang sure na, ayaw niya makalmot eh. Pag ayaw uh -oh. makalmot, blade armor. Oo, uh -oh, kasi masakit yun. Oo, oh, oh, almutin mo yung may mga nga, as long, as long as hindi nawa 1v1 ni Plap dito yung mga heroes sa side ng Onyx PH, yeah. okay lang sila. Pagka nag 1v1 na yung setup, that's going to be a problem. Pero dun sa may taas, they're actually trying to get few. Pero with the flicker, it's there. Dalawang flicker yung nasayang nila dito for the side of Bren Esports. And that is good on their cost to ending this game. Carl si dito still has Nahating, the dash. Oh. And si Iyakno dito, sobrang okay. aggressive. Well, masakit din si Iyak mo right oh. now, ha? Pero Sir Prest is there. This could be a bad spot for the side of Brent Esports. And look at this, Meteor Shower. They're trying to make this, this oh, their own. And wow, walang masyadong nagbibigay ng space dito. And kung ano man yung kalamangan kanina, you don't feel it. Kasi nag-normalize ulit yung mapa natin. Yup. Mga pantay-pantay na that gold lead doesn't feel as solid as it was earlier. Kanina siguro malaki yan, mga 6 minutes, mga 5 minutes. But right now, at 14 and a half, almost 15 minutes, it looks like an even matchup. And both teams are waiting for the other team to make a mistake, especially around this objective, which will be happening right now. Inuunti yung team ng basic, yung Lord, I think he's trying to bait, bait Brent to go into position. Mm -hmm. 
clearly, 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 these two teams Politics really style? want to win. Hindi sila gumagawa ng kahit anong trivial na move sa may mapa. They're being very disciplined. Ayaw nilang gumawa ng isang big play dito na mag-50-50 sila pareho. Although this is the time para kay Bren Esports na i-contest itong Lord Take na to. They cannot afford to give this up. Ito, mm -hmm. Bren Esports are looking at this and sabi nila, kaya ba namin take oh. now to? Basic, nahampas, nahambalos! and will be forcing the Lord to go back and reset. Okay, iyakno dito. That is actually a very good play. Pero basic on the back lines. Nahuli siya ni Flap dito. Alice will get that Popol and Koopa Lasty. Uranus will get Hilda. And that is going no, to be a 3-4-2. Wala silang retribution on it, PH. That was the mistake na inaabangan dito ng side ng Bren Eastward. Nakasabi lang eh. Nakasabi lang natin eh. And they gave a lot of uh, space doon for Bren Esports to regroup. Nakuha din ng Bren yung inaasam-asam nilang Lord. Pero andito na ang aggression from the side of Bren. Onyx PH, will they fight this? That is the question. Cards dito trying to go for a kill. Flowing blood on the pinakalikod. Pero Phantom Execution is there. Rafaela will go down. Dilar, will he go down as well? No, it won't happen. But the Lord is still on the side of Brent Esports. Isang one-time, big time lang ang kinailangan ng Brent taking down the turrets all around the map. Not to mention, meron pa silang Lord nag-push doon sa top lane. This could be big here. Para sa Brent Esports, kaya na yata nilang tapusin to. Pag pumuha sila ng maganda. Ang tagal ng katahimikan eh. Ang tagal, oh. Ang tagal ng katahimikan. Kumabutahin ng 15 minutes. Nagtitigan sila ng sobrang, oh yun, naku po, walang tinamaan. Medyo Sayang. napatid. Yun lang. Pero still, it's gonna be a fight here under the base of Onyx PH. Nasayang yung charge ng Lord. Nasayang yung charge ng Lord, but no matter. Andito sa base. Oh, hindi pala doon sa may base na tama. Doon sa may middle lane. Basic dito, trying to deal as much damage as possible. Pero flap! Kinalmot ang base. And Brent...